Fallen. 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 Olê! Olê! Ah, agora ele brinca, velho. Agora ele brinca, Bocão. Agora ele brinca. Agora ele brinca. Olê! Aliás, estou aqui no começo do vídeo para pedir duas coisas importantes aqui para vocês para ajudar o canal. A primeira é deixar um like aí no vídeo, aqui embaixo, vai ajudar demais o feedback. E a segunda é se inscrever no canal, que estamos com a meta aí de 200 mil inscritos, fechou? Tamo junto, rapaziada. Espero que curta o conteúdo aí. E é nóis. Não, o, o belga tá completamente maluco. Não sei quem é que gosta de belga. Uh, olha, boa trade aqui de Fallen, mas... E agora rodas para o B, é isso? A ideia será essa, a 45, mas ainda tens o Ad e agora a Ad encontra ainda para mais o jogador da bomba. Já ouviu mais um, Fallen vem buscar, atenção que esta trade mete o jogo completamente em aberto. Olha, o professor vai carregar sozinho e carrega mesmo. Mata quatro jogadores, sai do boiler para a esquerda da AWP, mata um jogador. If they decide to hit that B site, Fallen trying to carve out a little bit of information. Finds Karim on the front of Connector, that's a good start. And an easy fallback as well, because the rest of the pack is 20, now sprinting at him. 20 seconds. They've got to get in this site, and they've got to do it quick. And if Fallen can slow it down, then we may watch Imperial pick up their first defensive round win. He's inside the smoke, and he drops that bomb. A second one from Fallen. And now JT is trying to clear this site, but Fallen stands tall, and he holds it all down. Fangs back in with kills, <laughs> but Fallen doesn't stop delivering four in a row as he aces the A site. The way leading from the front. He can't be moved. Ground. In that situation, that's what punished 9Z. They were really hoping to beat that timing behind. They weren't watching for it, of course. And that's what really sealed the deal. Again, a perfectly timed flank from Bolts that goes unchecked. It's just pistols and that one hero AK now falling at the ramp. is looking to harvest a bit of kills here. He's found one. Ooh. He's on a collateral. A little bit of flare in a round like this. Buddha does find some damage, though. That's two kills now in favor of 9Z. Still a disadvantage situation, a heavily disadvantaged situation. Just the AK of DGT 1v3. And Can't go ahead. IDK, rather. He has to wait for his teammates to be here. Fallen and Fur, they'll swap a Roo. They'll bog down this law. But it's going to be Fallen with the gun who's got to be the insurance here. There is an HE. You're absolutely right. If Maluk picks the right spot, Fur is done for. And he's in a common nade spot, too, in the dark corner. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. The gun will do it. It's all on the Fallen now. 1v3 to try and hold on, to try and keep them alive here. To no try way. and keep them in this map. Another clutch for Fallen. He's trying. He's, he's battling. He's done it once again. <laughs> he's the man who pushed them through to overtime. And once again, when his number is called, Fallen delivers. But that was about 20 seconds ago. And a lot can change in that time. So it has value but limited. It has an expiry date on that Intel. And our xCloud comes out from the apps. Big frag, make that two. A giant leap towards a potential third map. But Fallen, as has been the case so many times, is locking it down by his lonesome. And there's another one. A 4K for Fallen. An Imperial take us to OT3. He didn't miss a single shot, Vince. Timed. He oh spots one. Gosh. He's gonna spot a second. He saw the bomb. So much information. One kill. Might not know the players in the vents, but it doesn't matter. He has so much control here. Vinny will find one on the AK on the NQZ. The op is taken down. <laughs> but what a shot from Max. Not the second. Fur gets the trade with the tech nine. A bit of chaos, but Buddha's now down towards Econ, as is his teammate David. They're gonna spam. No such luck though. Cello on 46 HP is just behind the silo. He'll find one, but it's a trade from Buddha. One, two B2, excuse me. So a player towards the double doors and a player in the back calls. Fur runs forward and hopes of spamming him down. Does some damage, but doesn't get the kill. He's just trying to deny the defuse. Buddha now spamming, it's his turn and he will not miss. It's now fallen, the IGL 1v2, and he has to do it all. He swings in, finds the first. The second is tagged as well. He's just going Time. to rely on the fact that he's not sticking. Time is becoming a factor and Fallen will make his move. It is being stuck. Fallen gets the timing though. He will secure a round for Imperial. And that is where we stand, 17-16, as we now wait for the second half to begin. Laying in way, he's got bolts for cover. And so the smoke rains in from the CT side. Time to plan, Mac, have they got it? I don't know, Vinny, he's doing a decent job of stopping this one from happening. One oh. bullet onto Nickelback is all that's needed and they cannot find him in time. But quick kills coming through, bolts and fallen looking damn good in the two on two. But both their positions are known now. Oh. Forrester takes his kill, fallen hits back and we got a one on one. Who's gonna clutch it? Fallen uh -huh. waiting, shadow advantage here for oh. Forrester! Oh.
But Fallen, he's not just an experienced Dorper. He picks up the AK, he does what he needs to, and he gets the crowd going with that one. Imperial take the lead by one round. He had the presence of mind to check behind. Mir was the sitting duck if he didn't make that move. That right there, he had to make it. As the round slows down to a halt and we complimented Imperial's incredible amount of utility on their T-side pistol in the previous map, but over here on Inferno, it looks like Enterprise is doing much the same, and look at those grenades flying on through, but look at Finny as well. Sealing back an immediate trade frag, falling with a crossfire. This is great stuff from the Brazilian pistols, but can they shut the thing down finally? As Han is still alive in the 1v3. Looks for the first head, can't quite find it. Great stuff from Fallen. And Imperial, so, And get onto this bomb site. Imperial, though, are not moving a muscle. They're tucked behind corners. Oh, They're forced capitalize. out of position, but they don't capitalize yet. There, there it, it is. is. Pesa makes it a 2v2, and now now he's going to move on forward. They have the kit available to no them. Smoke. Pesa needs to find the frag. Spots on the head of bolts. Gets him. Only one left. Fallen in the corner now. Tucking himself away. Buying time for his squad. Hits a critical frag. That's enough. Imperial are going to take this rank. Rescue this round. Excuse me. And Fallen also had salt to the wound with the fourth frag of the round for himself. Oh, time is already too late. Time is already too late. Molly. Burning away, Fur has a good look. They've got to be careful. Stinks elevated angle, and he will get checked by Fallen. Magnus may try and push through the smoke here, and he will, but he's caught off by everyone. Will eventually go one for one, though. And Fallen sets the bomb down. 15 points of health for Blitz. 48 for Fallen. And this is a 1v1 that quite literally determines this map, it feels like. If Blitz can win this, there's a chance. If Fallen closes the show with a kill here, this might just be the beginning of the end in favor of Imperial. He has an Hold idea. The barrel. He has a massive idea. Oh, but fallen. fallen does one better. Didn't expect the swing. And Look Fallen. For early fights if they come to you. Get into a good position. And now Elige is committed to ramp, but he's got no help. He needs a multi kill here to give his team a chance. Yep. Well, shocks elsewhere. It's they might not clear it. Back in the lead. Like in a power position. They finally check oh, him. Elise! Still while under that was huge. That was two. so Still huge. Which puts Fallen into the clutch. Now alone. Oh, that Molly. <clears throat> Missed. Yeah. Just barely. Bomb down and reposition into the short side. Fixated upon the headshot boost. No one's come over the top just yet. No kit for Liquid either, and they're taking some time here. Yeah. I guess falling a good chance. They have a smoke to play with. Nitro can deploy that. Oh, fuck. Nitro now down. It is falling into one versus one. Shock's taking damage, sticking the deep use. No. To close it out. Fucking <laughs> the professor's here, bro. The professor's here. Instead. Can he find FNX? It's the barrel. That's a huge kill to find. Now a 3v3. Lower bomb site control has been lost, but no, they're going to be coming up upstairs. Favon lies in wait. He sees the Maldor. He's going to go for the spray. He finds two fallen left alone, but now he's alone in a 1v2 and 10 seconds on the clock. The professor's going to have to teach a couple of lessons once again if he wants to clutch this one out with the AK. Around the corner, he will move. Knows he has to take some risks. Flash is good, but the spray is on point. And now Fallen in such a good position. Searson with the AWP has no room for error. He cannot afford to miss. And that bomb is ticking away, but unfortunately for Fallen, the bomb's not planted for him as he comes through with the AK, goes with the spray, thinks it's a fake, and he's forced Searson off the bomb for the time being. Searson, though, still connects, still puts him down, picks up the kit, and has enough time for the clutch. He understands if he loses his spot, he doesn't get a kill. Nicely done, him and Kenzie. Frag a piece, FNX comes out from underpass, shell feed, just gonna keep that head tucked down. Frag lands on top of him. He'll be on 40. FNX. Oh my what? god. He just got two. And meanwhile, Fallen, he's found his entry onto the site. He got his 18th kill and he puts himself into the clutch. How does FNX get that second? Bomb planted default. But think of the years of experience that Fallen has over Kenzie. The hope of the new generation as Kenzie stands in the no man's land. Fallen hones in on him and oh. takes it. And Imperial, one step closer. I can't believe that FNX. Another 2v4. With the man moving back through ramp, a 3v2. They at least know about this wrap round. Ooh. Is that going to make life any easier? Bolts brings us back into even odds. Tucked in over at default, just waiting. Those contacts got to come in from ramp eventually. Doesn't want to expose himself to it, but that molly will force a swing out of him. 
And now Fallen alone was able to win a 1v2 on the CT side in a similar spot. But this time he's got to deny a defuse, not make one. In with the first. Fallen Ooh. with the clutch and he delivers again. This guy just keeps clutching, keeps putting up rounds for Imperial, whether they like it or not. That bomb's not even for him, Harry. Techno on 50, Blitz eats one as well. So already Util looking good for Imperial. They've really softened up those targets. This scout now needs to capitalize, needs to pick players off. They're running up on the long side. FNX fallen, both hitting shots. What? Oh my goodness, four kills scout in round. four seconds out of scouts. You don't need guns. You don't need orbs. These ones hit like cannons and Cabal simply has no time. Oh, baby bear, the Cubs bested by the scouts in this one. And first wow. there to close it. Bloody hell, have you ever seen anything like that? Two scouts just... So they really need to get something going here. They really need to change the price of the momentum. It's fully on the CT's favor. They've burned alive once again. The utility is just so restrictive. And Fallen's doing it all. A wonderful triple spray down over towards Long. The bomb has been dropped. And surely that's Imperial hitting number seven. It's an incredible... This is looking so dominant. Imperial. I mean, on paper, they are the best. So let's not forget that lovely attempt to counter out Fallen's re-aggression. But he's on for the ace. He's really feeling it right now. 10 to 1. Oh, he's actually spotted out the head. And he will hit the shot. Fallen is lightning fast. Ace in the round. It Fallen. It's Fallen. Who could and does draw first blood. Two with a pistol to Kimbo. Oh, it's the when they need it most mayhem on the dual Berettas. And that went to the highlight reel. Might have a new contender. We might have to review that one again. Let him have it. I'm sure he said it. Vinny on the flank as well. Fallen ready to start the hunt. Max trying to play spoiler for the ace in the home crowd of Rio de Janeiro. And yeah. On the must-win pistol. Players, this hold of bolts and fur, you could just lob the nades onto Fallen. But no, it will be the latter, right? Fur falls out of there, goes and rejoins the A site. They're trying to spread oh. this util back out and Fallen's going to open with the AWP. So quick. Score dead on the logs angle. And Fallen's still here. He was so ready for that angle, man. You can see him pre aiming up and over it. Nice grenade, pushes him back, but he wants to go for more and even reads the boost up. Fallen's feeling it. This is not the guy I want to run into. They are still committing to try and kill this AWP and this bomb could be lost as a result. They're going to take a peek with a flash. Doesn't work. Fallen's tight on the angle. He, he's even re-peeking for more. He does not want to give up this round. They lost the three on five this way before. I actually entering B. Very bad smoke. Fallen blinded by a teammate just sits in it right now. And they're trying to cross in. They don't even know there's this gap. Cabal's just walked in back turn. Finally, they re smoke But at what cost? Bolts. A bully. Faz a smoke pra passagem. O Fallen, caralho, o Fallen se joga. O Fallen tá louco. Vai fazer o cano. Ele vai passar a smoke dos caras. O que Fallen bonito, tá maluco. Que bonito. O Fallen ah, tá bonito. maluco. Ah, o Fallen ah, tá lindo. maluco. Que bonito. Meu amigo, a Imperial que está bonito, na IEM. All right, well, it's going to be a flash and send it straight in towards the window. And now they go forward first, certainly sending it. He's found one and actually starts to see out the information of the one in tunnels. Picks up RCF, who's ready for that and fall in with the AWP. Feels a little tough, but oh, goes in with the USP instead. And now, while well, RCF held back in tunnels, it's the AWP going into the AWP and falling <laughs> to the defuse. He's going to hold it. That is ridiculous. They somehow pull off the retake. Where is Fast? Close against the bank. Cello on 19 kills. Looking for two more here inside of the bank. And then it's the dumpster that's a problem. What? And it's a ton of damage. He set up Fallen, who's got to keep this clean, who has to dance around any damage that could come his way. There's the instant headshot. Fang is dead. JT's in the open. Fallen just inching his way around these boxes. Just playing with JT. And now that he gets the shots off, it's damaged both ways. Oh my God. Fallen's got the clutch. And Imperial take a seven. Oh, he played it so perfectly. Moving off to the side of the box. The perfect crosshair placement as soon as that truck would get cleared. 
Olha aqui, joga-se para as rampas, não força, e fala diabo. para 4. E deixa agora espaço para a FNX. Já se Infelizmente, que... Infelizmente, a Neide e o Molotov não saíram em simultâneo, que é uma coisa que eu estou sincero, eu estou de opção aqui. Se queres fazer esta play, uh, mete o Molo um bocadinho antes e depois a Neide, porque uh, o Molo rebenta, o jogador tenta se movimentar e leva com a Neide e não consegue. Uh, não, nunca esquecer aqui, acaba por capitalizar. Fala na atenção na zona do MB. A WP, a Molo, é fantástica. A segunda Molo mais fantástica será e apanha Kragan. E olha o miúdo, ponto do B. Não caiu porque só falando salvou. Uh, <risos> deixa deixa assim. o Fallen vir. É, é melhor, é. Chama o Fallen para finalizar, que já ia dar problemas outra vez. 3-0 para a equipa de Imperial nesta primeira metade do Fine. overtime. Fallen. Spamming. And expecting the push through CT. He's going to play close in the smoke. Can't do too much yet, though. Has to wait for FNX to rotate. And he runs straight into the awaiting arms of Zevi. Fallen. What? Sprints out. Gets a double kill. And it comes down to a 1v1. JNT wants to plant the bomb. Fallen's just going to push straight back in. It's a free frag. And the round is clean. Tem um nosso vindo por trás. Tem um nosso vindo por trás. Calma. O Feng é perigoso. Tem um nosso vindo por trás. É o Fer. É o Fer. A gente vai sair. É o Feng. Uh! <laughs> Vamos no bem.